Hello, everybody. I'm here with Caitlin Dunn of My Racehorse. Thank you for coming on the air today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about one of the most exciting horses to have debuted recently for My Racehorse, Caldera. Caldera debuted on the same Friday as the Breeders' Cup Future Stars. And there was so much buzz about this horse, guys. I mean, we previewed it before, we've talked, and the horse did not win. But that's racing, right? I mean, great horses don't win their debuts. And I thought, Caitlin, you'd be a great person to kind of discuss this with. So I thought what we could do is maybe watch the race, get some of your insight. You've been around, especially two-year-olds, your whole life. And maybe yeah. we could have you take a look at, at what went down from a more uh, expert bird's eye view of this race. Yeah, for sure. All right, Caitlin. So here he is at Churchill Downs making his debut. And it was really exciting. Um, so, okay, they're off, and right away he's at the back of the pack, which is, you know, not maybe necessarily ideal, but that's fine, right? Yeah, I mean, he is a young horse, so it's always kind of a mixed bag on what they're going to do the first time they ever jump out of a gate. Um, so, you know, being a little bit slow to start, all that is really, really good um, learning material for him. He was a little bit feisty even in the post parade. He... I had a crush on the pony, which got him a little bit excited, I think, before he uh, before he got started. So I, he might not have been super focused back there, which isn't, you know, it's not a bad thing. He's young. He's a baby. Um, and I, I genuinely believe this. And I think people think I say it just to make them feel better about, you know, losses and that kind of thing. Sometimes it's really good for horses to get a defeat like this, get kicked back, fall out of the gate, do all those things where now next time he's not going to be you know as jarred by kickback he might deal with the gate a little bit better horses that win on the lead they've never really had to deal with any kind of opposition you know and that can kind of hinder them when they take that next step forward because now they've never dealt with it and they're going up in competition so i'd rather keep our conditions get a good learning experience under our belt and try again you know what i mean so that would be my biggest takeaway from from this uh from this race well, and I thought this could be kind of cool parallel here because there was so much hype over this horse and you see him right here. He's finished, you know, he, he's over here and he's not that far out of it, but mm -mm. we talk about, okay, well, he lost. What's the use? Well, why don't we go watch Seize the Grays Maiden together? I thought oh, so God. people can kind of understand yeah. that, like, this isn't the indicator of the rest of his career. Would you be okay with watching that, Caitlin? To yeah, back? absolutely. Okay. So I actually wasn't here for this one. I th I think I was in New York already. I, I might have been moving up up north, but I remember watching it on my phone uh, with my fiance, and we were like, "Oh no, this is where we started feeling really bad." He's just running backwards, and you can tell he's kind of like he's not really digging the kickback. He doesn't really know what's going on now. He's kind of clicking in, like, "Okay, maybe I'll do something." Yeah, it was a weird, it was definitely a weird setup. And I think, you know what I mean? The best thing about that is that it just, it didn't blow his mind. Like he came back, he got through it. It wasn't anything that really deterred him from wanting to run. Um, so can't fault it. This is another one, like I said, for real savvy a minute ago. If we could just throw out the first race, <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be awesome. But even then it kind of just speaks to like how good these learning experiences can be because they can come back and do you know really good things after having an experience like this well and, and if i'm watching this race and i don't know what sees the gray goes on i mean he's barely on the screen here compared to caldera and i've got to imagine yeah. the people who own this horse or you who are watching it's like oh my gosh what what's the future of this guy going to be yeah i mean it definitely can feel like a gut punch but i i do think that you know, you have to see it all with a grain of salt that so many different things can change and they're always changing horses. You know, Seize the Gray was one. Um, he wasn't a big horse. So, you know, we didn't really know what kind of distance we were going to be looking at. Caldera is a really big horse. Um, our racing manager that's here in Kentucky, he said even before the race, you know, happened, he goes, I think this horse is going to want more distance. So that could be another thing. You know, you see Caldera, like he had more at the end, even after they've, you know, passed the wire. He's probably just going to want a little bit more, but it's definitely not a race. Like I would be way more concerned about a first start like this one, like sees the gray than I would have been for a Caldera first start. If that is any kind of consolation for anyone that might be feeling really bummed out. So there you have it. We've gotten to see back to back grays for Lucas now. And 
again, you're in the hands of a master and a guy who is constantly trying to figure out his horses. And you see where Seize the Grey started. We all just saw how it ended. Caitlin, thank you for helping us understand how it started with Caldera. Don't jump off the bandwagon yet. Don't hit the ejection button is the point, right? (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. We're in it for the long haul. (laughs) Exactly. And we just saw that with Straight No Chaser too. Uh, You guys took this horse. It took him five years and now he's the top dirt sprinter in the world. I don't think Caldera will take five years, uh, but you know, the point is that's racing, that's debuts. So uh, excited to see where Caldera ends up next. And um, yeah, the story is still being written. So thank you so much for walking it through with us, Caitlin. Definitely.